Good mm -hmm. afternoon. Not my problem. Man. Each year, the Dufresne Award is presented by the previous year's recipient. Last year's award winner, Mr. Scott Clapp, retired after the school year and relocated to Florida to enjoy his retirement, and therefore is unable to join us in person for this presentation. In keeping up with the tradition of this award, Mr. Clapp has taken the time to write a speech and record himself presenting this year's Dufresne Award. I will now play his audio recording. Ladies and gentlemen, members of the Board of Trustees, Superintendent Moore, Administrators, Faculty, and Staff of CMSL High School, and good evening to the Class of 2021. Thank you for allowing me to take a few moments of your time. My name is Scott Clapp, and I have the privilege to present the 2021 Dufresne Award to one of my colleagues. The Dufresne Award exists because of years of hard work and saving by Fred and Bertha Dufresne. They farmed 1,500 acres east of Great Falls beginning in 1918. And they established a history of making charitable gifts and contributions to the community. The Dufresne Foundation was set up and for 40 years made $1.8 million in charitable contributions. When the foundation was dissolved, a $100,000 endowment was made to the Great Falls Public Schools to continue the recognition and encouragement of superlative, superlative teachers. Annually, a teacher from each of our high schools is selected to receive this. Technical difficulty. <laughs> Larger number of students, and most admirably, 
admirably achieved that goal through its oversight and implementation of the STEM and gym annex projects. Those projects have brought an amazing amount of technology and much needed room to CMR campus. And it is without a doubt that the school is better for those additions. Finally, a sense of duty and commitment during the 2020 COVID-19 epidemic with an adaptive but calm approach to the difficulties that distance learning entail helped ensure the successful meeting of educational goals. Within a matter of two weeks, CMR went from an in-class delivery system to an online delivery system. And though not without some challenges along the way, such as technical support to students without computers, its efforts moved the school to a degree of success probably unanticipated by those who don't know him. His leadership and calm demeanor kept all of us centered and championed. He is a devoted father to his children, Curtis and Katie, loving partner to his wife, Kay, one of the best fishermen I know, and a fervent Minnesota Vikings fan. It is my ardent wish that his retirement offers him more time with his family, his fishing, his biking, his dog Gibby, and his horses. And who knows, maybe he'll, he'll even have time to join me on a fishing trip in Florida. Please unite with me in congratulating my friend and the recipient of this year's Dufresne Award, Mr. Kerry Parsons. Definitely not expecting that. That is unbelievable. But what an honor. I am humbled. Straight ahead. Uh, through even up. in the conversation with the Frank uh, Award recipient. You probably can't see her. Um, She's as Scott Clapp said, standing across uh, Scott and I worked together for a number of years at CMR and talked quite a bit and uh, fished occasionally. And, and of course, he last year um, winning that award and being able to present it this year. Um, he just mentioned oh, that. Not? I got into education oh, and then I actually got into Where administration to be able to, to, to serve, to, to lead, this to help. Is... And I've always said that as a principal, I just want to be able to provide One, a structure two, three, and, and a place four, for students to learn and teachers to teach five and everybody to move forward and in the middle. Um, as I said earlier right in my introduction, since so retiring so at the end of June, one, two, after 32 years in education, three, it's been very rewarding. Four, yeah, she's, uh, she's almost close up to the front. You can see she's the AP's looking down. Two, two principal ships. Uh, I couldn't have asked for anything more. Um, and what I want for Great Falls Public Schools is for this school district to continue to strive for excellence. And as you, the graduates of C. Russell, and I will talk to you a little bit more as we go through this, this ceremony and my closing remarks, I want nothing but the best for you. Um, I'm not very prepared right now, but I will just say for this class, it is very rewarding to watch you uh, persevere through challenge, challenging times last spring. Um, about a year ago, we graduated outside of this facility in the grandstands for the class of 2020, and everybody said that was a crazy year. They had about one-fourth of their year being crazy. You guys had the entire year being crazy. But to, for, to be a part of that and to serve and to uh, provide a structure for you guys to be successful and ultimately get here tonight, uh, I'm very pleased and very thankful. And I think I've got enough uh, to say as we continue on. So again, thank you so much. This is quite an honor. I am very, very humbled. Thank you. Associate Principal here at CMR, and I'm pleased to present the Golden Flame Award for the class of 2021. The Golden Flame Award is the most prestigious award offered at CM Russell High School. It is presented to a graduating senior who has demonstrated academic excellence, has been active in school as well as community activities, and who has served his or her fellow students with integrity, strong character, and an obvious commitment to our high school. The recipient of the Golden Flame is someone who 